Today I'm taking a look at the Fenersi LC1020E High Precision Handheld LCR Meter. Okay, and there it is. So we have our probe sockets right here. We have our contact points right there. Nice rubbery feeling buttons on here. And we got our display on the top. We got a rubber grip here on both sides. We got a USB-C port for charging. And it does come with a kickstand so we can stand the guy up. So we've got a jumper charging cable, that's USB-A to USB-C. We have got our probes, and they do have removable caps so we can get a longer probe on there. And it says that both of those are max 10 amp probes. Now that's nice. This actually came with full on Calvin clips. Everything on here is labeled, so we just match that up with the contacts there on the bottom. Push that in and then give it a slight push. It does come with instructions and those are in full color. It says it has a test frequency of 100 hertz up to 100 kilohertz, accuracy of 0.3%, measurement range of 0 to 100 henrys, 0 to 100 millifarads, and 0 to 10 mega ohms. And it looks like it even has a record function. It has an output impedance of 100 ohms, and you can also set the auto power off on that. So you got some information on the accuracy. So for 100 kilohertz at one picofarad to one nanofarad, you're looking at a 2% plus or minus four digits. Yeah, table fit resistance, and we got the same thing for inductance. So let's turn this guy on okay apparently it does come charged enough to actually run it actually appears that it comes fully charged so first it is an l we can change that here we got z c r and l second is q so we're in quality we can change that here we got phase resistance reactance d and q so that's nice so we can change everything right there we do have hold you can click that to hold so in the event that it starts making new measurements it's not going to actually update we can see exactly what that is and if we hold that we can actually start recording. We have speed, so you can see right now it is in slow. So that is going to measure four times. So if you want to have the most accurate measurement, that's going to be what you use. We have medium and fast. Fast will measure once. You can see it is updating very quickly. We got range. So we got 100 ohms, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohms, 100 kilo ohms, or auto. Frequency, 100 hertz, 120 hertz, 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, and then back to 100 hertz. Level, so right now we're at 0 0.6 volts. 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and offset. So if we want to change the bias, we can do that. That's nice. So, so far, pretty simple interface. If we want to change the settings, we can press and hold OK. To language, we can change the screen brightness. Pretty cool. So if we want to say battery power, we can do that. I don't like the beep. So let's go ahead and take that all the way down. Off time. Cool. So we do have auto power off option on there. So if you're like me and you have a tendency to forget about it, we can change that. So that's where we're going to calibrate and system reset. So very simple interface. Here I have a 1K resistor and this is a blue resistor. So that should be fairly close to that one kilo ohm. Change that to resistance. And I'm just going to push that into that contact area. And there we go. One kilo ohm. So that's awesome. Pull it out and it resets. So if we want to test resistors very quickly, that is going to be an excellent option for that. Let's go to capacitance. Now these are not super accurate capacitors. You'll probably see that here, but let's go ahead and take a look anyway. So this one, this is a 330 microfarad capacitor. Okay, 310. So that is actually definitely within the, I think it's 10%. One of the really cool things about an LCR meter is that you can actually check components while they're in circuit. Now this is not really a great example because this isn't really a circuit. This is just kind of a mess. You can really see that we can't really jam these things in there very easily. And that is where we can use this guy. We've got a 220 microfarad capacitor right here. Let's see if I can get those leads out of the way. There you go. 207. So if you need to check a capacitor and you don't really have the capacity to pull it out of the circuit, then LCR meter really is the best thing for that. It may not be perfect if you're actually testing capacitors and things in circuit, but quite often you can find and identify a bad capacitor that isn't even showing that it is blown or leaking. Let's use our leads. And whenever you're introducing the wire, you're going to be changing the inductance. That's just something you want to keep in mind. Yeah, let's see what we got. Pretty much the uh, same thing. 208. That is great. We got a whole bunch of different ways so we can test components. LCR meters, if you're ever doing any kind of troubleshooting on electronic devices, this is gonna be one of the most valuable tools to have. So yeah, that looks like a very high quality unit. I really love how intuitive everything on here is. Everything is very simple, very well laid out. Overall, that is an awesome LCR meter.